Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alaki and if you are new here, I'm glad. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing, like this video and share with your friends. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate So let's just start today's topic. Today I'm just going to tell ways and practical tips that will help you heal your anxiety. These practical tips are the one I used to do when I was still struggling with fear and anxiety. As Christians, we shouldn't be struggling with fear because fear and anxiety are our enemies. Fear and anxiety are the strongholds and we can overcome them through Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us that power to overcome everything because Nothing is impossible to him. Everything is possible with our God. As Christians, we shouldn't be struggling with fear and anxiety because God gave us that power to overcome any stronghold, to speak over any stronghold, any spirit. So, because he is God, he is our God, he is a loving God, he is for us and not against us. These tips are going to help you. I realize that there are tips that actually help me healing anxiety and fear. So I'm just going to give you the following practical tips that you can actually implement, you can actually start doing to heal your anxiety. If you are still struggling with mental health issues, anxiety, fear, and through the blood of Jesus Christ, you have the power to overcome them. So today, I'm just going to give you the practical tips actually help me heal my anxiety so let's start with the practical tip number one is prayer prayer is a powerful weapon guys do not underestimate the power of prayer prayer is so so powerful god says with all your burdens come to me and i will give you rest so you go to the lord when you feel like you have heavy burdens on you go to the lord he will give you rest and how you actually go to the Lord is when you pray because when you are praying you are having a conversation with God or you can go to God and talk to him because he's a loving God he's a loving friend he's a loving father he's a loving God our father in heaven so he loves us let's see some scriptures those scriptures actually demonstrated why we need to pray to God every time that you feel heavy Every time that we feel like we need help, we can go to God, talk to Him because He's a loving God. He wants us, He wants His children to talk to Him. Why prayer? Let's see some scriptures. Philippians 4, 6, 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds in Jesus Christ. So, as believers, we are called to not to worry about anything. However, we are called to untrust our difficulties, our worries, our problems in the hand of our loving God, our loving Father, because He is in control of everything. Is going to do his will. So let us entrust everything in the hand of God instead of worrying. So let's see the second scripture. Mark 11 24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that we have received it and it will be yours. That is so 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 good because what you ask when you are praying just believe it that's why we are called believers we have to believe first god says before coming to me i know what your heart wants pray so believe first that you have received what you are going to pray about just believe first. because faith faith is so good when lies tells you what if faith tells you even if so believe first so because before praying god knows your heart he knows what your heart desires so just believe first believe that 
what you are going to pray about, you have already received it. And this is exactly Mark 11, 24. Tell us, guys. And the last scripture I'm going to tell you about prayer is James 5, 15. If any of you is in trouble, let him pray. If anyone is flourishing, let him sing praises to God. So, yes, if you feel that you are in trouble, just pray. If you feel like you are struggling with mental health issues, just pray. Nothing is impossible. Prayer is so powerful. Just all these things I used to do and they actually help me. So whatever you feel like you are in trouble, just pray. Pray about that trouble. Pray about that disease. Pray about that circumstances you are going through pray about anything that you feel because god is there he's a healing god so nothing is impossible to him just pray prayer is so so powerful guys and the second practical tips i can give you is declaration let's see isaiah 54 17. no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this, their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. So, we have that power to declare over any weapon, and we can declare that through the scriptures. So, there is power when you declare any scripture over any spirit. There is power when you declare any scripture over any disease, anything that that rises against you. So you have the power to condemn. God has given you the power to condemn. God has given you the power to declare over something. God has given you the power to declare over that disease you are struggling with. God has given you the power to speak over anything and to condemn anything. If that thing is against God's law, so you have that power to declare, that power to condemn. Through scripture, you can overcome anything the second scripture is 2 timothy 1 7 for god has not given us a spirit of fear but one of power love and sound judgment we don't need to feel anxious god as i said that spirit of fear is not from god the spirit of anxiety is not from god fear and anxiety are the stronghold and we have we can't overcome them if you feel like you are struggling with fear you are struggling with anxiety those spirits are not from god because god can never give us the spirit to worry because the spirit from god god wants us not to worry about anything but whenever you feel like you are struggling and you are worrying that that is not from god and you need to pray you need to declare that because the spirit of fear is not for us. Never. We are children of God and God doesn't want us to struggle. God doesn't want us to fear anything. God doesn't want us to, to struggle with anxiety. So, it, because he didn't give us such kind of spirit. They are demonic spirit. They are evil spirit. And we can declare over them. We can condemn those spirits. We can speak over them. To overcome them guys the third practical tips actually used to overcome the fear and anxiety is actually a scripture and it is psalms 108 verse 15 and it says with god we gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies so this scripture is a scripture that's actually used for four years i discovered this scripture when I was in fifth grade, so this was the main scripture that we actually used during that year. And I walked down with this scripture for four years, so I was just using that. With God, I will gain victory, for it will trample down my enemies. And as believers, we need to recognize the enemies around us. Ephesians 2, 2 says that our enemies, the enemies of the soul are the flesh, the world, and the devil. But also Ephesians 6, 12 says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood 
but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. We don't fight against small things. We actually have big enemies, especially we believers. The devil is currently attacking believers, attacking Christians, and we need to be aware of that. We need to be aware and we need to pray more because our enemy is actually beyond what we can imagine. But with God, we can triumph. But with God, nothing is impossible because he's the one who trampled down all the enemies, all the evil things, all kind of enemies, all the stronghold. They can be the spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, depression, the spirit of oppression, offense. We are actually fighting against spiritual forces and we need to involve God so that we can triumph. We need to call God so that we can triumph. We need to stand firm in our faith, guys. According to this faith trip, I used scripture and for you, you can just use a scripture when you know that you are struggling with any kind of problem, mental health issues, financial issues, just look for a scripture in the Bible. If the scripture is regarding finances and you're struggling with financial issues that there are actually many scriptures about finance, you can use that. If you are struggling with mental health issues, there are actually many scriptures, you can use one. So if you are struggling with anything, just in the Bible, you have the answer. Use one scripture and keep declaring that scripture over your life, over your circumstance. So nothing is impossible. Just pick up, just pick a scripture and begin to declare that. Begin to say that scripture over and over and you will see miracles. The last practical tip I can give you is just to reaffirm your identity in Christ. The topic that I love a lot and I'm so excited to cover this topic for my first video of my podcast YouTube channel. If you don't know, I actually have a podcast YouTube channel. You can go and subscribe. I will put the link in the description below. So I'm so excited to cover my first ever video podcast. So I'm so excited guys. So this last tip is about reaffirming your identity in Christ. It's about reaffirming who you are in Christ because you may be going through some struggles, circumstances in life just and you may forget who you are. You may forget who you are in Christ. You may forget who you are. You may lose yourself but when you keep reaffirming who you are in Christ you can never lose yourself. You can never lose yourself. You can never lose your identity. You keep going because you know you are. You know your worth in Christ. You know your values in Christ. You know that you are loved by God. So, so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate. Please like this video, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. I do appreciate your support. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.